Hey everybody, Rich here, and this is South Florida Beekeeping with Rich. Um, so, a couple of weeks ago, a video came out you would have seen uh, where I fell off a ladder with a beehive, and we're getting a lot of inquiries about how the bees are doing. So, I thought I would do an update on how the bees are doing. They're doing great. Don't don't worry about any of that. I mean, that was a that was a two boxer, and you'll notice today it's a three boxer. That's because I came out yesterday uh, to take a look at them. Now, mind you, I hadn't had any concern over it because I watched the landing board. But yeah, I went ahead and opened it up, and was they had a really strong uh, orientation flight a couple of days ago, and it was like, ooh, I probably need to get in there. So I came out yesterday and I took a look at it, and wow, let me tell you that Thank box. You. That, that, <laughs> that box is packed. Um, but I know what you really wanted to see was that frame at the very end where I took all the odds and ends and bits and pieces of comb that, you know, didn't have anything else in it. And most people would have just thrown that in the melted down bucket. But what the heck, I with a rubber band system, I just went ahead and rubber banded them all in. And, uh, you know, let the bees do what they wanted with them. If they wanted to chew them up and just eat it to reprocess the beeswax, that's fine. Do whatever you want with them. And that's the frame you really want to see. And as it turns out, that's the most interesting frame in the box. So, <laughs> let's go in here today. This is May in South Florida. It is so hot that I even... Check this out. I found this stuff the other day. Some really big Cortec. So with that on top, it'll spill a lot of heat before it even gets to the box. Hello, ladies. None left. I don't think I'll need this, but we'll put it there anyway. A uh, little sugar syrup. Uh, since I totally rearranged their furniture yesterday, I thought I would give them a little bit of sugar as a apology. <laughs> it's like sending flowers to your sweetheart. Just sorry about that, dear. <laughs> so we had, just a real quick recap, we had two boxes jam full of bees. The main box of bees was the top one here. The second box of bees was the one that had lots and lots of bits and pieces in it, chunks of brood here and there and everything else down here. Well, let me tell you, most of those frames, you can't tell the difference between them and the others. They are wall-to-wall -wall brood and drawn beautifully, really wonderful. So what I did was took uh, four frames of brood, left them in the bottom with one empty frame, and by empty I mean just nothing but the wires on it, empty frame in the middle of the brood uh, nest in the bottom, and some empty frames on either side. On the next one up, I put three and three, empty one in the middle, boom, boom, just wanted to break up, break up, break up the box. And on the top one, it's mostly empty frames, but uh, I want to show you where are we at? Which one's it going to be? Yeah, you can see this is perfectly representative of most of the frames that are in that box right now. You need more light over here, dear? No, don't, I need you to stop moving. <laughs> okay. All right. Now that's a queen. <laughs> I mean, she is laying for all she's worth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll just leave this out for the moment. Come on, girls. But this is the one you want to see. <laughs> All those scrappy little bits and pieces 
And they filled them all in beautifully, but look what they did with them. Here, I'll blow and see. They built drone comb, and look at all those queen cells. Oh. Okay, you see right there in the center? Yesterday, one of those was still open. Today, it's capped. No, not really. You're not seeing it? I'm not seeing it myself, but okay. maybe people are on well, point to it. Sure. Can you put it on a pen holder and maybe and point to it? Oh, well, that would be very easy. What a, re what a reasonable thing to suggest. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Thank you. Since I rarely use this, other than as a place to keep some empty combs in case I need to grab a comb now and then. But it is going to be a little on the weird side. I guess you'll have to come over this way because I can't shift the box to accommodate you. All right, I'll step over here. I'll just tilt it up some so I have it nice and stable because I definitely do not want to disturb this. So I'm going to blow right here. <laughs> I guess my breath isn't bad enough. I'll have to uh, get, the get the smoker. Okay, yeah, it hasn't been on in a few seconds, so it won't be too very strong. Okay. Wow. All right. Yeah, well, they're all over this frame. You've got, look at all this massive uh, drone comb on here. Remember, I made the comment that there wasn't a bit of drone comb anywhere in that colony when we uh, took it down and were boxing it up. Well, there's drone comb now. And there's drone comb in other frames as well. Don't misunderstand me here. So you've got but, queen cells and yeah. drone comb. Well, if you want to look, I'll turn it around in just a second, but if you want to peek through here, you can see a, a queen cell on the other side there, but let me just turn it all around. Do, 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 do. Come on, ladies. And of course, before we go any further with this one, I am going to have to look really hard to make sure the queen isn't up here. Oh, there's the cell left. But you can see this queen cell here, mm -hmm. and there's there's those queen cells all over this, and several of them that were uncapped yesterday. Let me check this one out. It's capped today, and if you'll notice right next to it, there is another one, or is it two? Oh my, yeah. Now it's a little confusing on here. I think there's four or five of them. Well, it's a little confusing here. I mean, some of these are just going to be queen cups. I mean, that's a queen cup. That's a queen cup. This one got made from a cup into a cell. This one, it's, you know, made into a queen cell at this point. Uh, but because there was so much open space on this frame and it's so textured, it made a great spot to put a bunch of queen cells on. Now, am I concerned about the fact that it looks more like they're in positions, some of them are in positions you would consider for a... Uh, not a swarm. These are in a position for swarm. Yeah. Some of the other ones are in a position that you'd be more concerned about whether or not this might be a supersedure, right? But that's really, I don't think, a problem here. It's just that there was so much texturing on this that uh, it just gave them the opportunity to hang them wherever they wanted to. Now, I also destroyed a few queen cells on some other frames, and uh, I even ate the royal jelly out of them. Doesn't taste very good, actually. So what's the plan, Stan? This plan here is this little nuke has just gone queenless here recently. I have gone through this nuke yesterday and again here just a few minutes ago, just in case oh, I wasn't yeah. seeing this nuke right here, just in case I wasn't seeing the queen. I can't find any trace of a queen in here. We still have C-shaped larvae 
in here. Nothing younger, really, but we still have C-shaped larvae that haven't turned yet. So we really don't have to worry about laying workers in here yet. We still have open larvae pheromone in here. So I'm going to take this frame. I'm going to drop it in there. There are There is a resource frame in here that is just out of somebody's wet dream, really. I mean, it is just chock-a-block full of uh, bee bread and such. So we've got plenty of resources here. Uh, I mean, I can't shake extra bees, and I will have to shake these bees off to put it in there, mm -hmm. or else we'll, we'll have nothing left. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I just want, I like space. I like to shake in the box. I mean, I hope that what I've done here prevents this one from swarming, but if it does swarm, I hope I catch the swarm because she's a good queen. Okay. Eh, not too fast. That's okay. I've still got lots of bees I've got to get off of here. No, no. They'll just be dead bees. I don't want dead bees. Because they will not be accepted by the uh, other box. There will have to be a fight. And I don't want to fight. I mean, you can never do the whole thing. Yes, true enough. My whole hand is covering these over here. Now we can get a really good look at this frame. Yes, dear, we will. Just put it right there. Okay. All right, now you see why I always keep some uh, empty. Oh, duh, there. Yeah, you're right. Hm. I was wondering, because I thought, I thought I had this all planned out, and I already had my replacement frame sitting there. Yeah, well, when the bees start walking around a lot on me, it's like, eh, panic, panic. <laughs> there we go. All right, come on, girls. Let's get it. There you go. Okay. Starting to feel better about things. I won't worry about that just now. Now look at that. Is that not a wild frame? Yeah. Yep. The two's there. Look at all those. Is that drone cone going to be a problem? Uh, no, I don't have a uh, queen includer or excluder down here. So, yeah, that they'll be freeloading is a bit of a problem. Uh, but I don't want to create too much upset by destroying much of it either. But, you know, I can whack a few cells down here, give them a little extra protein. Well, let's get it in there. Yeah. 
you might want to reiterate that it's pretty hot today. <laughs> okay. Well, in case you didn't hear my wife, she's saying that it's pretty hot today. So yeah, we're not we're not endangering any of this brood by chilling it. That's for sure. It's not a problem. But now, since. Like I say, I looked at this yesterday, about half of those cells were still uncapped yesterday, and they're all capped today. So we'll have a pretty good time frame on this. Uh, as, that wasn't the one for this one. I just need a cover. Any cover will do. I will put a uh, feeder on here. Yeah, let's just do that now. I'll put a feeder on here so we can uh, make sure they have enough coming in since they don't have a huge forager force. And man, are they about to have more mouths to feed. There we go. Okay. Boom. All right. So, easy peasy, that was simple enough. Uh, that's a fascinating frame. I spent a good deal of time looking at it yesterday. But since this is a short video, let's do a couple other things while we're here. The, um, let's see, let me get my days right. Today is Saturday, the uh, 12th of May, or 13th, May 13th. This is Saturday, May 13th. So last Tuesday, I was out here during the day and there was no swarm activity at the two stack box uh, swarm trap that was up here. Okay, you can go on past me. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so there was no activity at the two box swarm trap that was up there. Then I was back out here about 630 in the evening and there was that was not scout activity. It's like between when I was out here in the morning and 630, a swarm had moved in. Not that bucket. That bucket already had a swarm in it. That bucket has had a swarm in it now for about a week and a half. Okay. And they're bringing in lots of pollen. So normally I wouldn't want to touch that bucket, but I may have to because there is just so much uh, bearding activity. But I'm not... Even 100% sure it's bearding activity. I had smeared lots and lots of slum gum type propolis around those entrances. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, it just seemed like those bees were bound and determined to clean that down to a polished plastic surface. So you think that's washboarding? That, well, it's not, we don't know what washboarding really is. But it seemed like there were a lot of bees that were intent on doing some housekeeping. Mm -hmm. I guess since they had to be out there anyway, because it was too hot for them to be inside, they might as well do something best I can come up with. But at any rate, so this hive had only had the swarm in it for a couple of hours. Probably they came in around 430. That's normal around here. And so I came out around nine o'clock that night, used a step stool rather than a ladder, and I picked up the whole box and plopped it down over here took a potted plant, put it in front of the entrance here, and went ahead and put this other swarm trap up top there, just so the forager bees would have some place to go. And of course, the next morning, a lot of the bees are reorientated there, but some of them went back up there. So I left it there till about 11 o'clock. Then I put a cinder block right here set it right there and they all marched right in then i do not put it back for the day because the bees are up there some of them are going to go over and get adopted over here because if you show up at the entrance of a beehive with a load of pollen you normally don't get turned away so some of them i'm sure went in there because it was after that that we started getting all these extra bees on the outside but come nightfall, come about an hour before nightfall, I put the bucket back up, let the bees go inside, and did the same thing again. So doing that twice, as you can see, there are no bees in this area. 
just two days later. Everybody found themselves a home, so it's safe at this point, I think, to put that up there. Because I, given what happened when I fell off the ladder, I think I'm just going to use buckets <laughs> anymore. There, it's not a lot of work to cut them loose and set them in, and eh, I think it's just better on my back at this point. So, do you want to go into that hive? That's the one that was on top of the shed, right? Yeah. Why not? Just a quick one. Okay. Well, I should mention, uh, when it was up there, of course, the frames were in the top box, and the bottom box was empty. So when I brought it down and went out the next morning and rearranged everything, the bottom box where the bees are is, you know, the bees are in the bottom box. They're, uh, the top box I did pull a frame of brood up into the top box and put a couple of frames of comb either side of it. And then I alternated comb and empty frames in the top. So it will draw me out some more comb and they've got plenty of room. So that's what you're going to see when we open it. I do believe in checkerboarding. Probably just need to take a quick peek, right? Yeah, we can take a quick peek. Like I say, there is one frame of brood up here, and there's a couple of frames of comb, but that's really all that's in the top box. You can see that obviously this is the frame that is full of brood. Just get a straight down there. You can kind of get a good idea of how they're sorting themselves out. They're working on the alternating frames that have comb mm -hmm. in them either side of here. Do you want me to go into the bottom box? I... Go ahead, you can lift that one up. Well, let's just. Together? No, 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 no. No, nothing, nothing is pieced. This, they moved in and did their own thing. Don't drop it. Yeah, and they did it, they did a beautiful job. So, I mean, I took the one frame out and, you know, their brood nest. Well, they had drawn, they had drawn uh, comb on two frames over this way. So, really, I just took it up, put an empty frame back in, rearranged things a little bit, but... Okay. Now it's dark. Hard to see in the dark. Yeah, well, I mean, this is a very young colony. Just looking straight down from here is the most educational. I mean, you've got... Most of the work is going on here, which is a frame of comb that I gave them. Mm -hmm. Their work, their own drawn comb is over this way, and it's the front half of these two. And that's pretty much what you can see just by okay. looking there. So this is a very young colony. Yeah. But it required no extra work other than, you know, taking the empty box, putting it on top, and putting frames in it, and etc etc and like i just i don't want to repeat myself there's no need <laughs> so that's it um y'all were just wondering how the the box that i dropped is doing well they're doing gangbusters uh they were about ready to split on me there uh hopefully we prevented that from happening even if we do hopefully if uh, i admit if i lose the swarm uh then at least we'll find it in their progeny here so that's it for today. This is Rich. This has been South Florida Beekeeping with Rich. Like and subscribe. And hey, if you guys look at more than one of my videos at a time, that really helps it. Uh, if you didn't see the video. But if you didn't see the video on me falling, I was two days out from my 10 days of having COVID. And <laughs> yeah, I really wasn't as strong as I thought I was. So. Yeah, we'll go ahead and link in the notes in case you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. uh, and are you going to give us an update on the nuke? You mean that nuke? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We should find out whether they accepted these uh, young queens or not. And, uh, about see. a week, maybe? Mm, no, a little more than a week. Okay. No, like they just capped them. Ye they capped them yesterday and today. Okay. So, uh, no, we got a, we got we got two weeks before we find out what's going on there. But we will. But we will. So, again, South Florida Beekeeping with Rich. 
everybody enjoy the day and uh, have a good time. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Mother's day tomorrow.